Hey everyone, happy Wednesday evening. So no worries if you are catching the recording of this, that's okay. I understand we all live busy lives and sometimes this time of night is tough, but I wanted to do my best to make sure that this information was delivered to you. So if you're catching the recording, great. Let me know. Comment below this post to let me know if you have questions on anything I mentioned in this. If you are hopping on live, then obviously I will postpone uh, questions until the end. But this, the point of tonight is I want to basically lay it all out there for you, help you to understand the tools that you have invested in, because I want you to approach this as if you were, had just invested in a new car or a new household appliance or some type of new gadget. And when you do that, you just don't purchase it, open the box and hope that it works. You have to read the instructions. You have to read over the manuals. You have to try it, see how it works. You may fail, but you really take it into your own hands to take ownership of it and get the most out of it. Because anything that you spend money on, your hard earned money, you wanna get the most out of it. So you really want it to work. So the same mentality needs to be applied to this. You need to take time between today and this weekend to look over, understand, read, watch, whatever I'm about to tell you to help you understand what you truly have at your fingertips because you have now made your home the healthiest place ever. More than any gym, personal trainer, anything that you could invest in outside of the house because the beauty of Beachbody on Demand, any of the supplements that you may have invested in, that is creating health in your home. And for a price that you would pay at a gym or a specialty class or a personal trainer, any of that, you are probably not guaranteed or given everything that I'm about to show you at your fingertips. And the, the crazy thing about all of this is that this platform is constantly, continually being updated and kept up to date with the latest and greatest stuff based on the trends that are happening in the health and fitness industry. And at this rate, Beachbody is currently providing you something new, at least one thing new. And usually it's more than just one thing, but at least one thing new every single quarter. So every three months, you're going to have something new in your back pocket to help you stay strong, stay motivated, held accountable, get excited about your health journey because you truly are taking ownership. And by taking ownership, you've invested in this kit. You are given the great tools. You have world-class superior trainers at your fingertips. I am your coach, but I am not the fitness expert. I am not the person to tell you what's right or wrong, good or bad. I am your guide your guiding light. I am the person to support you to make sure that you are staying on the right track. You are diving into the program and the nutrition that best suits you and your needs and your goals based on what we have chatted about. But in terms of the right positions, form, workouts, leave that to the trainers. They have scientifically put everything together so that you truly work your body in the best way possible. You are not overtraining any part of your body and you truly can achieve the greatest results ever if you follow the system as it is laid out. And the system is the fitness component, the nutrition component, and the support. And the support is found obviously here in the group. This is where you come to every single day to get the most out of your journey, to have someone or a group of people to lean on through good and bad times, through accomplishments, exciting moments, new ideas, whatever it is. It's that support system that keeps your fire burning. But it's the fitness that is fun. Fitness should be fun and you should enjoy it and you have endless opportunities at your fingertips. And the nutrition component is so perfectly laid out that there really is no second guessing. If you take time to understand the nutrition plan that has been given to you, you do your best. It's not supposed to be perfect, but you do what you can with what you got. And I understand that we all have busy times and busy seasons of our life that everything may not be perfect, but you have the tools to at least help you make wise decisions, to help you make smarter um, choices to 
to then create healthier habits. And it becomes a lifestyle, not an up and down roller coaster, not something that you're gonna do today and then quit tomorrow. It is supposed to work with you with, with it, ever season of life you're in. So any questions in regards to what you've invested in, now is your time to ask. You need to ask between today and Sunday in the group, ask me personally, if you're not quite sure that you wanna ask in the group yet, but I guarantee you, if you have the questions, someone else does, and that's what we're all here for. So enough of all of that, let's dive into what you have. So you currently are looking at the home screen of Beachbody On Demand, and this is obviously after you have signed in. So you're gonna Google Beachbody On Demand, the first link that pops up is probably that link. Click on it, you have to sign in at the top with the email and password that you provided when you created your account. That is your access into your library. Then you come to this home screen, and this can be accessed through your computer, uh, through your phone, through your tablets, even some smart TVs. I personally run mine through Apple TV every single day. The latest version of Apple TV, I believe it's version four, or maybe there's a point after that, but it's the latest model that's on the market. And there is an app in Apple TV. So you have to download the Beachbody On Demand app and it's all there. It's a simplified version of what you currently see here on my computer screen. So my suggestion to you is that when you're just getting started, start on your computer because you're gonna be able to see everything fully. Um, sometimes the phone, tablets, and your smart TVs don't show everything that is available to you. So when it comes to uh, printing out your materials, uh, printing out your meal plan, printing out tracking sheets, looking at all of the videos and information, go to your computer first. And anytime that you have a question, make sure you, you can see it on your computer. If you don't see it on your computer, then come to me with the question. So um, this is your home screen, and it's pretty simply laid out. They're constantly updating it. This has been the latest version now for probably at least uh, the last six months. Um, so don't be surprised if someday, some, one day you check in and things are mixed around. I know they're constantly trying to improve it and upgrade it so that you do get the most out of it. And it, 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 is, uh, <laughs> it is easy to follow, tongue-tied. Um, but I have my notes here, so I kind of stay on track. I'm kind of a person that can go off on tangents, as you can already see. So I want to make sure that I hit all points here. So the layouts. At the top here, you have uh, workout programs, trainers, how it works, blog, and community. Those are your main tabs. There are always the highlighted bar at the top. This is always something new that's coming out. So the latest and greatest thing that is soon to be coming out, actually, later this week, is the beach bar. Pretty cool. Um, this is a revolutionary, holistic, um, nutrition bar and they are saturated in the markets. I am an RX bar girl. Um, I love RX bars. I love Laura bars, but already these are far superior. And I have actually been in a meeting with the doctor himself that created these 10 grams of protein, five to six grams of sugar, 150 calories. The protein is amazing. All of it is naturally sourced. Um, there's more information coming out on these um, soon, but these are the bars to beat all bars. It's pretty crazy. And I'm sure they're gonna be coming out with more flavors down the line, but these are the first two that are going to be released. Um, so that is something to always keep your eye on. If we have not talked or you have been on your journey for a while and you're looking for your next step in your journey, um, there is a great kind of fitness picker right up here at the top. So you don't have to come to me. This can become your thing. And that is the beauty of Beach Fight and Demand is that you have complete um, capabilities of owning your journey and making it what you want. I do suggest, and I really do um, make this a point because I've done it the one way where I've kind of gotten really excited about Beach Body On Demand and I play around with different programs based on what I'm feeling. And yes, a workout is better than no workout at all. It's true. But if you are truly trying to hit that one pinpoint goal, if you're trying to lose the last five stubborn pounds that you really want to lose so you know you feel good in that dress through the, the wedding you have to go to in a couple months. If you um, are trying to build and define more lean muscle, if you are trying to lose that bloat that you've been hanging on to, if you're trying to really pinpoint an exact goal, then you truly want to commit to one program and run program only and commit to it from start 
to finish whatever it is. If it's 21 days, 30 days, 60 days, 80 days, it doesn't matter. Commit wholeheartedly to that. Like you have paid your fee, you have decided to commit to this one trainer at the gym that you love to death and that you know that he or she is going to take you on the journey and deliver the results. But what you have to commit to is to follow through. It is consistency. It is dedication. It is staying true to your promise. And these programs, I promise you, were put together specifically, scientifically, methodically by the trainers and the sports nutritionists that are on staff at Beachbody. Like I said, I am not the trainer. They are the experts. They have put these together. And through the materials that you've been given, if you follow that workout calendar as it is laid out, you will get the results, the results, the results, the promise, the promise, and the fitness component together. You can't just have one without the other. Just like anything in life, you can't half asset, you have to go all in if you truly have goals that you want to define. But if you are a person that you need, um, you need, uh, what do you call it? Oh, brain fart. Um, you need to have um, different things in your life every day. I can't think of that. It's going to come to my ear eventually. Um, but you need variety. That's it. Thank you. You need variety in your life. Then I can't recommend enough the challenge du jour. And the really cool thing about this is it still follows the systematic approach that the calendar would if you committed to just if you just committed to insanity and you followed an insanity calendar. Same thing goes for this. Um, you are working out with a different trainer every single day, like you would be if you were going to the gym, a different type of workout every day, but it follows the weekly schedule of every Monday, it's going to be a plyo type workout. Every Tuesday, it's going to be an upper body, so on and so forth, as you see here. So the only thing with this is that you have time constraints. Your workouts are going to vary. Not every day is going to be 30 minutes. It could be here, 22, 27, 45, 29. So you have to have grace and your, your time capabilities with this one but I guarantee you, you will not get bored. And you're gonna to get to try a little bit of everything in your journey. So especially if you're just starting out and you're not quite sure you wanna give 100% to just one program, you wanna have variety, you wanna have fun with it, do this option. Because you're gonna get a taste of everything that is available to you on Beach Find On Demand. You're still following a systematic approach. And, pretty here, and shortly here, I'm gonna talk about where you can find a meal plan to go hand in hand with this option. So this is great. They're always updating this. Um, and you can even sign up for an email. So it gets emailed to you, um, I believe, once a week to kind of let you know the schedule that is coming up ahead. So you can kind of plan forward to that way. So that's pretty cool. Um, but if you are looking to um, create the journey yourself, you can click here, fitness level, say your intermediate. Let's see if it does it here. A little slow. Um, you only have... 30 minutes, zero to 30 minutes a day. Um, you want to build muscle now here. You're not really too sure on a trainer. You could, you know, that doesn't bother you. Here are your choices. Bam, boom. You can do 22 minute hardcore. You can do power half hour, or you can do the challenge of the day. So um, these are great options. So you can keep, you can do more than one choice too. You can keep customizing. Um, you don't have to fill out all areas, but do one at a time and see what it populates for you. Um, but that's a really good option that you can do along your journey as well. Um, the beauty of Beach by Now on Demand too is that since you have an opportunity for whatever your body is feeling or needing at the time, and especially if you're a person that travels a lot with your job or you go on vacations a lot, Beach Body on Demand goes with you. So if you know you're not going to have access to equipment while you're away, then choose a workout or a program that doesn't require that. You have so many options in here. And the beauty of each is that um, it gives you, on, right on the cover here, what, uh, what the workout timeframes are. And once you go into a workout too, it tells you the equipment that you're probably going to need for it as well. So you have options that way. Um, if you do travel, download the app. There's a Beach Body On Demand app to your phone or your tablet. You can upload or download up to seven workouts into that app. And so if you're going to a place where you don't know if you're going to have great Wi-Fi source and you want to ensure that you have workouts with you, download some workouts into your app. And that way you can do a workout regardless if you have Wi-Fi or not, and you don't have to put a stop in your journey as you go along. So that's pretty cool. And then you just 
you know, after, after every seven, you delete them on your library and re-upload new ones as you need to. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go into just one program here. So keep it simple. I'm going to go into 21 Day Fix. So say you're going to follow 21 Day Fix. You're going to go, this is your library for the next month or however long you want to do this. So it all, every program always has an overview, a workout list, and a program materials. This is not seen typically on the smart TV. So this is why I say you have to be on your computer to start. Um, overview, it gives you what to expect, obviously right here. Um, it tells you the program plan. It, you're going to have your 24 workouts for 24 days, and you're going to have your nutrition guide. That's what you follow. In the workout list, these are all your workouts. So every workout, it always tells you the time needed. It, it, if there is a little barbell next to it, that means equipment is needed as well. So cardio fix, no equipment. Pilates fix, you're going to need equipment. You can go into detail, see what that is. They're just saying a mat. So really, you could use a towel if you're going on vacation. Um, details for lower fix. So required weights or resistance band in the mat. Recommended, there really is none recommended. Um, but it always gives you a quick description of what the workout is. You press play and you go. Um, and that's it. So all your workouts here, the beauty of Beach Beachbody On Demand too is that what we used to have to pay for when it was VHS or DVDs, the bonus workouts, those were extra. So you actually have every single workout that was ever created for each workout plan. So um, Remix, the fun, these are your two bonus workouts now. And you can act there, if you follow the calendar, which I'm gonna get into here shortly, it shows you on the calendar. If you wanna switch out um, that the cardio workout for the day, you can do Cardio Core Remix instead. And so that's always kind of a good way to mix things up. Um, there are a lot of plans now have no music, so if you're a person that likes to work out with your own music and your ears are in the background, pick the option that doesn't have music in the background too. So you can just listen to the trainer and then listen to your music at the same time. So there's a lot of perks to that. Then program materials. So this is what I really wanna dive in. This is what's important and why you need to be on your computer because I highly, highly recommend to print these materials out because if you were purchasing this through a DVD set, you would be getting all these materials anyways, but now it's all here. Yes, you can keep it on your computer. If you're a person that is on your computer a lot anyways, and you can use it as quick reference, then great. But if you're just starting out, print it out so you have it, especially the nutrition guide. That's kind of like your Bible for the length and the time that you're in that program because nutrition is everything. And I want you to have that readily available in your kitchen or wherever you're making food so you can kind of refer to it as you go along just as you're starting out. The one big thing that I think a lot of people get hung up on or they get scared about or they put themselves like an analysis paralysis and they don't do anything is that they have the fear of failing before they even get started. And yes, any nutrition plan, if it's not something you're used to, it's going to be scary. It's going to be intimidating. You're going to feel like you're going to fail before you even start. So why even start? But you got to give it a chance, just like anything in life. You have to give yourself that grace period. Truly, the first week of any program and truly the first month of any program you have to give yourself a learning curve. You have to know that you're probably going to fail. You're going to have those disappointing moments, but in all of those moments, you are going to learn how to do better and be better. So keep that in mind. Just give yourself the chance to try because if you never try it, you never know what your true potential is going to be. That's in your workouts. That's your nutrition. That's in the lifestyle. So just try. You've invested in it. Why are you going to throw your money away? Everything is given to you for you to succeed. All you got to do is do it. That's all you got to do. And hang out with us for all the support you need. That's it. So getting started. You always start here. So the start here is kind of like a quick reference guide. This has different names um, in every program, but it's always a quick start. And this is where, you, this is where all the learning and all the reading takes place. So between now and Sunday, you're gonna have a lot of reading to do. Just understand it. Like I said, anything you ever buy, you gotta read the manual. You gotta know how to use the product that you just bought. Same thing goes for this. So 21 day fix, it talks right away off the bat what the calendar is. The calendar is really simple for 21 day, 21 day fix. It's a three week program. You're doing the same workout every Mondays, same workout every Tuesdays. The third week, you can obviously double up option. You have that option if you really want to push yourself and see how far you can take your results. But you wouldn't know that unless you read this. So read, understand your program. 
every program comes with your caloric bracket. You have to figure out what your caloric bracket is so you know what plan you fall into in your nutrition guide. The containers. If you invested in the challenge pack kit, you receive those color-coded containers. They originated from this program, 21 Day Fix. The earlier programs such as T25, Pio, Insanity, any of the P90X series, anything before 21 Day Fix came out, you're going to notice that these aren't included in your meal plan. They're pretty straightforward, kind of a Mitchie's Ladder type of approach, clean eating approach. Um, you absolutely can still use the containers. And I'm going to show you here shortly on the blog where you can go to understand the container system so you use them. You don't have to use the nutrition plan that is in your program because at the end of the day, they're all kind of pretty similar. The point of it is that you're, you're being aware of your portions, you're being aware of the food that you're putting into your body as a clean, minimally to no processed foods. Are you eating enough so that your body is getting the results? Because if you're not, you could be setting your body in starvation mode and the reason why you're holding on to those extra pounds or extra weight or extra fat or whatever you're trying to lose. Like you have to realize your body is a machine now and you're going to be treating food as fuel. And yes, you can still have those treats in moderation. You can still enjoy life, but food truly, truly is what delivers the results. And I never understood that. I had such a sick mentality when I was younger. It wasn't until I began the Beachbody lifestyle with Focus T25 back in 2012 that I truly saw what eating the right foods and eating enough of the right foods with the right program delivers those results. So trust in the process. So you have to figure out your caloric bracket to understand what you get put into. So um, with the 21 Day Fix, any of the programs that use the containers, excuse me, you're going to figure this all out. If you aren't trying to lose weight, you just want to maintain and build healthy, lean, defined muscle, you're going to stay in the caloric baseline. That's it. Um, if you're looking to lose, then you're going to go, or I'm sorry. If you're just looking to define um, and build healthy muscle and stay kind of where you're at, you don't have any weight to lose, you're going to stay at the maintenance calorie bracket. So you're only going to fill up the top two here. If you're looking to lose weight, you're going to go all the way down to the calorie target. And that's going to place you in one of these plans. If you fall under 1,200 calories, you're going to automatically be bumped up to plan A. You can't be under 1,200. That's not healthy, especially with these workouts. So under 1,200, bump up. Um, and it kind of lays out how many containers you eat in a day. So for instance, plan B, you're going to eat four veggies in your day. You're going to eat three fruits in your day. You're going to eat four proteins, three carbs, one healthy fat, one seed or salad dressing, and uh, four oils and nut butters. You'll see that you got two orange containers in your pack. That's just for convenience. It doesn't mean that you have to have an extra one. They did that for ease of travel. If you're a person that packs your meals for your job, you can put seeds in one, olives maybe are in one, and then your salad dressing in another. It's just for convenience. Um, that's all it means. That's why they did that. Um, you don't eat all of your greens in one meal. It's meant to be spread out throughout the day. So shortly here, I'm going to show you how I plan out um, my meal plan. But this is your baseline. This is what you're trying to accomplish every single day. Um, if you go over on a container, say you eat four carbs instead of three, that's okay. It's supposed to give you that baseline. It's meant to go over or stay under a little bit. And if you do that consistently, you're going to still see the results. If you totally feel down about eating five carbs instead of three, well, then maybe tomorrow, you omit one of your carbs from your daily bracket and kind of even each other out. So you have the rest of the week. So say Wednesday, you eat five instead of three. So then maybe you omit one from your Thursday. You omit one from your Friday. You're back on track. And then you go back up to where you should have been on Saturday. So you kind of have to play with it. And like I said, um, they can be intimidating. They may seem really small if you've never used them, but I promise you, it's a lot of food because when you start measuring things out um, and the more you use them, especially if you're at home, the easier it's going to be to eyeball those foods when you're out to eat or on vacation or at the office or away from home. They aren't meant to feel like you're prison to them. They're used as tools. Think of them as measuring cups. 
You use them as tools. You use them as much and as often as you can. So then when you don't have them readily available to you, you can eyeball and you truly are going to be shocked at how much you probably are eating right now and how much you should be eating. It's crazy. Um, but it works. It works. It really is just clean nutrition and portion control. That's it. So I will say um, stick to the bracket that you're in for at least a week and a half. If after a week and a half you are finding yourself incredibly hangry, you're angry, you're hungry, don't mess with me, you feel like your stomach is eating itself out, then bump up a bracket and stay there for the rest of the program. If you're to the point where maybe occasionally, like every three nights, yes, you have those moments at night where you feel like you have another snack before you go to bed, that's normal. That's okay. Um, because some days you're going to end up working harder in the workouts. You're going to be building more um, lean muscle. That's going to be eating up a lot of fuel. And that's why food is so important. Um, and probably on the days that you lift a lot of weights, you're going to be hungrier because your body is in that constant burn mode after you work out. So that's normal. But if it's a constant, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, then that means, yeah, your body probably does need a little bit more food. And especially now that you're incorporating higher intensity workouts to it, it's going to need more food. So bump up after a week and a half and stay to the rest of the program and stay there for as long as you need. If you find that you're hitting plateaus after the second or third month of doing a program, you're not seeing any loss, recalculate, see where you fall. If you have to drop a bracket, then drop a bracket for a while. But it's that up and down and just constantly tweaking in the system. Anything you do in life, something that's not working, you tweak it, you figure it out, you reroute. Same thing goes for this. So don't get frustrated. You just got to figure it out. Um, it gives you some points on using containers. Um, it gives you an example of what um, a day in the life could look like to help you understand. Um, there is always a transformation tracker. I will be talking about this tomorrow in the group, so more on this. Um, but they have that. Um, what you need for the workouts. This is why I recommend reading all this now because if you have to go out this weekend to get something you know you're going to want to have, you have time to do it. Um, but that's a quick start guide. So every program is different, but it's where you start. It's where you start reading and checking everything out. Um, tally sheets are awesome. Um, you got to record, you got to track what you want to see change, what you want to see grow. Um, so these are your tracking sheets for your meal plans. Um, you, once you know your caloric target, fill it in up here, put it in your containers, and you go throughout the day, you tally them off. So by the end of the day, you can see where you may have fallen short, where you may have gone over. And like I said, you can balance it out the next day. Recommendation for these, if you want to use a tracking sheet, print them out once, take them to a local copy store, get them laminated, use a dry erase marker, wipe it off at the end of every night. Then you're not wasting paper. Um, you could put it in one of those binder slider sheets. Um, same thing, those plastic sheets, use a dry erase marker, wipe it off at the end of every night. Um, there is also a tracking app. You can download it. I know, I know they have it on iTunes. I'm not sure about Android, but there is a 21 day fix app put out by Beachbody and it's all electronic and you basically plug and go as you go throughout the day. So when you're out and about doing stuff or you're at work or you're on the weekends and you're going out to eat, track your, your tallies as you go out throughout the day. So by the end of the day, it's just like if you're a person that has counted macros in the past, you got to put that in or you've used my, my fitness pal tracker app. Same thing as you eat, you just plug in and the end of the day, you look at it, you evaluate how your day was, you can figure out how you do better and you grow from it. So these are the tools that they have given you to succeed. Use them. <laughs> um, let's see, printable tally sheets. Um, Oh, they have two of them. What have I had? Oh, edible tally sheets. Sorry. They've made that. That's a new change. So if you're a person that wants to just keep it as a PDF on your computer and keep your computer at home, um, you can edit it on here or the ones you can print. Um, calendar. Here is your workout calendar. Print it out. Hang it in your workout space, wherever that is in the house. So you can go along. I have people that use stickers um, to kind of make it fun and track off their days. I have people that use markers. You can put this in a plastic sheet plastic sheet as well, use a dry erase, whatever it is to make it fun. Um, but put it there so you are aware, so you know what you're doing every single day. I will say um, the days that now, 21 Day Fix does not have a rest day, but majority of the programs do have rest days. Yoga is basically the rest day. You can either choose to do yoga or you can take it as a rest day. The rest day may fall on a Sunday. It may fall on a Thursday. You may have two rest days in a program. They are there for a reason. They are a part of the program. 
asking you to rest. If it's telling you to rest, you need to rest because your body needs that time to repair. And especially if you're doing a higher strength training workout, those rests are imperative to your success, to seeing the results that you want to achieve. But if the rest day is fall on a day that you know you want to work out, you don't want to rest on that day, you want to save your rest day to a Saturday or Sunday, shift the workout. So for here, so for yoga fix, say that you really want to work on a Sunday because you know your spouse is going to be home, he or she can watch the kids, um, and you can have that time to yourself. You'd rather have your rest day on a Wednesday because you know you need your extra sleep in the middle of the week so you can continue on the rest of the week. So shift it. Um, take that, uh, what do I say? Take the, um, put the rest day to where Pilates fixes. Um, and then move the Pilates, the cardio, and the dirty 30 down. So Pilates fix is going to go to, or what I say, Wednesday. I'm sorry, lower fix. Um, so lower fix is going to go to Thursday. Pilates is going to go to a Friday. Cardio is going to go to Saturday. Dirty 30 to Sunday. See? You just shift it. But you need to include that rest. So put the rest where it fits you best, but you need to rest. Um, let's see. Nutrition. This is what you really need to know. So, um, 21 Day Fix, majority of the programs use these containers. Here's a food list. It doesn't mean that you are stuck to these foods. This is all you can eat. It's to give you an idea. Um, the thing to be aware on these food lists is, you say you're using the containers and you want, for instance, um, asparagus for your dinner one night and you love to eat them as the full spear. You want to roast them, you want to eat them, you want to cut them and enjoy them. You don't want to have to chop them up. Um, so you're like, well, how does that fit into a container? Well, this is where you refer to uh, the food list in this, in this situation. So it says asparagus, 10 large spears. So instead of having to chop it up and fit it in, just know that 10 spears equals one green container. Um, if you ask me, you can't go over on greens, um, eat all the greens you want, but, um, I know that's usually the hardest thing to get in. A great way to sneak greens in is add spinach to your Shakeology. Blend it up, you don't taste it. Um, so I know too with like, if you're gonna make muffins, add in carrots, add in zucchini. That counts as a green as well. So you're gonna start to figure out what works, what doesn't work. Um, for the containers to count and for the portion to count, you're probably wondering why is there a lid? The lid is there for a reason. It is there for convenience if you need to travel and you wanna take it and take it with you so it doesn't spill. But for the portion to count, you have to be able to stamp the lid on. The lid has to be stamped on. You can't have a purple container full of strawberries and you have the mound of strawberries up here and you're like, oh, they're not falling over. It counts. Eh, no. You got to be able to put the strawberries in there and be able to snap the lid on for it to count. That's a correct portion. Um, you can mix and match in a green container too. Like when I have made... Um, for instance, I just made a Greek wrap. Um, I didn't want to go too far over my greens. So basically lettuce, you can smush down. You can pack a lot of lettuce in that green container. Um, if you want to have a big hearty salad, then take two of your greens and make a big hearty salad and omit two greens from your daily count. I took it and I put green, my lettuce in there. I chopped up some tomato and my cucumber and I put it all in there. And when I mounted it on my wrap, it was huge. It was a lot. So you can mix and match greens in one green container. You don't have to stick to just one food. I know those of us that appreciate avocado and cheese, and we only get one blue in our daily count, divide the container. You'll be amazed at how much um, cheese you still get if you only fill half of a blue container. So if you want cheese for on, in your meal for lunch, but you want avocado in your meal for dinner, then figure that it's going to be probably about two slices of avocado um, to equal a half of a blue, and then just fill the half of the green, blue container with the shredded cheese that you need for lunch. And it's still a lot. All you need is a taste of it. Um, if you go over a little bit, you go over a little bit. Um, but the one thing I will tell you when it comes to containers, and the one question I get a lot too um, from a lot of clients in the past is when it comes to your Shakeology. And they always ask me, do I have to omit like a red container as being the protein for Shakeology? Um, what if I want to add in nut butters and fruits and veggies? Do I have to take that apart? Technically, yes. If you're really truly trying to hit a certain goal, then stick to what it is telling you on your container count and what you're allowed in that Shakeology. But my view on Shakeology is that 
I am more concerned on you enjoying that glass every single day, for you looking forward to that glass every single day, for thinking of it as a dessert every single day, and knowing that the nutrition that you are feeding your body with in every single glass is priceless. And I commend you, applaud you for adding that into your daily routine because the way that food is today, the way it's grown, harvested, um, processed through plants, handled, whatever it is, and the FDA on top of that, it's just not healthy. It, it, it is not what it was 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago. The soil isn't the same. The air isn't the same. Our bodies need supplementation, pure and simple. It does because we truly, none of us, no matter how clean of a diet we are eating, we are not getting the dense, dense, awesome nutrition that our bodies need to thrive rather than survive. And it's the reason all of us are dealing with deficiencies, whether it's fatigue, stress, bloat, inability to reach our goals, um, brittle nails, weak hair, bad skin, um, digestive issues, cravings, oh my God, cravings, all of that are de from deficiencies in our system. We're missing something or we're having too much of something that is causing us to have those cravings. So that is where Shakeology comes into play. It is that missing link to start linking together your internal environment so it begins to thrive and you start to crave those better for you foods. You start to see those results happen and you're feeding body with that nutrition that it needs and it becomes almost like your daily multivitamin. So I'd rather you enjoy your glass and you make it. You make that glass as you wish, as you enjoy it. You want to know what goes into my daily glass? Every single day I have some type of almond or coconut milk. I have ice. I have water. I have spinach, I have some type of nut butter, I have some type of fruit. Sometimes I put coconut in it. Sometimes I put um, some oils in it. Um, what else? Sometimes I have fun with it and I throw in a couple chocolate chips because I do have a sweet tooth that day and I just wanna take the edge off, whatever it is. But I am enjoying the hell out of that glass and I look forward to that glass every single day because that glass has saved me from my IBS symptoms, that has saved me from horrible digestive issues, from thinning, we care, thinning nails, brittle nails, bad skin where I would have constant breakouts, all of that is resolved. I have not been dealing with any of that stuff for over five years now. And I will tell you that I have not even gotten sick. I can count probably, I can count on one hand in the last five years how many times I've gotten sick. Yeah, I may have had the, a minor, minor, minor cold here and there, but nothing that my girls are bringing home into this house from school or daycare, nothing that my husband may be going through. Like it's insane how my immunity has been boosted from this. So, so many benefits. I'd rather you enjoy it. Discount what the container count is you put into that Shakeology because that nutrition is far superior than one container. It is not going to undo your process. I have reached and maintained my goals for five years now, even through two pregnancies. So it, it can be done. So don't, that is my two cents on it. I'm getting off my soapbox. So if you're really truly concerned about it, you want to know what you can put into it, talk to me. I'm happy to share. So um, free foods, there's always free foods. So spices, condiments, that kind of stuff, free foods, put as much on of it as you want. Truly using this method is helping you learn how to cook more, how to use spices and herbs and all that to your um, resource. Um, and just make food as it is, keep it as it is, but make it super flavorful with what is grown from the earth and given to us. So um, there's also the water bar in your guidebooks too, fun ways to kind of use up water so you're not just drinking a glass of tap water every day. Um, there is an exclusive online toolkit I'll get to here shortly. Um, eating plan, this is your guidebook. So every um, plan comes with an eating plan, nutrition guide, they're all kind of named differently. But this is what you need to read through this weekend to understand your program more. I'm not gonna go into detail because this is for you to look at and it's for you to then read it, figure it out, then ask me any questions or ask in the group. But again, here is the caloric base, um, baseline you have to figure out, here are your container counts. Uh, talks about the tally sheets. You can get small tally sheets here if you want. Um, it gives some recipe ideas. Um, talks about the containers. Here's your food list as well. One thing with the food list. So um, you will wonder, well, yes, you can eat all these foods that are listed. You can even eat more if they're not even listed here. 
But if you're truly trying to reach a, a, a goal again, like you really want to hit that five pound mark so you really feel super good in that dress down the line, these lists are put together specifically um, in a way that if you stick to about the top quarter of the list, those are your most nutrient dense foods. That's where you're gonna get the most nutrition for them. Um, you're probably gonna feel fuller, less blood sugar drops. Um, it doesn't mean that these aren't great, but they may have less protein. They may less may have less um, vitamins and minerals in them. Stuff that your body needs, so it starts to crave that better for you food. So for proteins, sardines, all the way down to about egg whites, that is your most nutrient dense food. Then you get to the middle half, yeah, you're doing good. The bottom, yeah, it's good, but you're not going to eat every day. You're not going to have cottage cheese every day because it's just not the best for you to achieve those results. So something to keep in mind. These are kind of the bottom half is moderation. Top quarter, it's like you can have these every single day. You're going to rock it. Middle, it's like, yeah, maybe every other day or it's a treat. You know, So keep that in mind when you're looking at the list. Those are your nutrition guides. They have vegan plans as well. So if you are a vegan, those are available to you. Um, and they always have um, quick fix um, calendars as well. If you only have a week to reach a certain goal, you want to feel really good at that wedding you have to go to, you want to look good at the beach um, for a 21-day fix. This is kind of like a bare bones meal plan that you have to follow, but you're trying to reach that ultimate goal. Um, so that is there too. So look through your, your um, plans. Um, questions, there's FAQs on every program. Spotify has music lists. So if you want fun music playlists to go along with your workouts to mix it up, Beachbody actually puts together Spotify play playlists. You don't have to have a membership. You just have to create an account. I don't have a membership. Yes, I may get a commercial every couple songs, but I'm okay with that. But the playlists are awesome. Um, so those are there as well. And there's other languages. So that in a nutshell is Beachbody On Demand. Like I said, always changing. Um, next we're going to go up to trainers. You can pick a program by trainer too. You can see all the programs that are out by each individual trainer, how it works. Um, just another area of beach body on demand to help you get started and basically scroll through everything. It tells you, um, what is included in your membership, what, uh, you are going to have to get you started. Right. Talks about the ways to stream. So if you're not sure if you have capabilities, here is that right here. So it's under the how it works section. Um, if the modifier and audio options are available, um, basically there's typically always a modifier. So if you are coming off of an injury, you're coming back from pregnancy, um, you need, you're just starting on your journey from not doing it for a while or ever doing it. The modifier is your person to follow. Modifying is not a bad thing. You actually probably work the muscles even better than you would if you were doing full out because you're truly concentrating on that one area that that move is working. Modifier is always there to follow. So don't ever feel like you don't have an option, especially if the workout says it's intermediate to advanced, but you still feel like you're a beginner, but you really want to tackle that program and to push yourself and to create that challenge, do it because you could still follow the modifier if you need to. So that is comforting to know that they are always there. Um, and it talks about an eating plan as well. Then the blog, this is amazing. So you can access the blog through your Beach Bite On Demand library, or you can access it through Google. And I'm actually, um, my Safari isn't working very well right now. So I am actually going to stop the share here for a second and go into Chrome. Um, and show you the blog here. For some reason it isn't showing right in my Safari right now. And you gotta give it patience sometimes, it's technology, and like I said, they're always updating. Um, so if, like I said, upload those workouts into your app just for, just, just in case, because some days Beach by Man has a technical glitch, it happens. Um, but at least you always have a workout to do if that happens um, to you. Um, but the blog is amazing, and this is where I get my meal plans every single week. This is how I meal plan. I get ideas from here. I get new tips. Um, I even get great information to share with you guys, too. So um, keep bookmark this page because they are always updating this weekly. It's an amazing resource. So guide to using Beachbody On Demand. You're going to start under fitness tab up here. 
if you're just starting out, another great resource to help you understand all that you have at your fingertips. Um, it goes through the video that I actually shared with you the other day, um, talks more about the cost, what to expect, all that you have, um, talks about each different part on it, the, the calendars, the workouts, um, workout anywhere, anytime. Um, we'll talk about fixate here shortly. Um, program guides and the challenge du jour. More features and there's a toolbox section too of more ways to get your questions answered. Um, I'm looking at my notes here. Under, this is, um, you can definitely look at this in your own time, but the key points, I'm, I'm just gonna point out the key areas that I really want you to be aware of. If you go under nutrition, meal plans. Um, say you don't wanna use the meal plan, um, that came in your program, this is your option, or if you're just starting to figure out how to meal plan, this is a great resource because there's articles, there's meal ideas. My suggestion is that you find things here that you really, really love, create a Pinterest board, you guys. Create a Pinterest board and say you're doing 21 Day Fix and you start to go on the blog or Pinterest and you find recipes that you really wanna make. Pin them to the board. Um, so you don't have to keep constantly coming back to the blog. You create that one instant library that you can go to every single weekend as you're planning out your meals and figuring everything out. But if you're just starting out, once you figure out your caloric bracket, say you fall in the 15 to 1800 calorie bracket, you don't know where to start. Um, go into search, say meal plan. You can even do it here. I'm, I'm at the meal plan obviously here. But you can go in the search um, button. Um, tells you, and it's basically the same area. But here, body beast meal prep for 22 to 23. So that's too much. I'm trying to get down here. 15,800 calorie. This is a starting point. It doesn't mean you have to follow this plan, but it's a starting point. And it's a vegetarian. So you obviously can replace some of the things that you wouldn't be eating with chicken or turkey or whatever you want to make. But this is what a Monday through Friday meal plan looks like if you are following this plan. Um, this is genius because it's a great starting point. When I when they first developed this, I went here, I followed the plan as it was laid out for one whole week. Then the next weekend when it was time to meal plan for the next week, I brought out my same meal plan calendar. And this is my calendar that I, I create every week. It's a simple, you can see it. It's a simple Excel file, nothing fancy. At the top, I have my days of the week. On the sides, I have what meals I'm eating. Um, at the top, I have even my pre-workout. I have a pre-workout meal. I have my supplements I've incorporated. I have all of my meals. And then these empty blocks here, that's my 20%. I'm all about the 80-20 mindset. If you can stick to your plan 80% of the week, then you should be able to have that 20% to play with. Have that treat you want. Don't feel so restricted on the weekends. If you follow 80-20 mentality, you will get results because you truly are eating more. You're eating better longer. So those little treats are still okay because you still got to live life. It shouldn't be about deprivation. But what I did is I took this set meal plan. I plugged it into my calendar. I followed it for one whole week. I realized what foods I liked, what I, which ones I didn't, what I preferred here and there. Then come the next week, I kept what I liked and then I replaced what I wanted to change out, knowing what my container count was every single day. And I just made those minor, minor little tweaks every single week. That's how I did it. So you start here, it basically tells you what your caloric bracket is, what your containers are in a day, um, the healthy meals you eat, it gives you what the layout is. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're gonna have the same breakfast, every Tuesday and Thursday, the same breakfast. Your Shakeologies, your snacks, your lunch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, your lunch Tuesday, Thursday. So you do have some variety. Yes, you're gonna have two or three days a week that are the same, but it gives you variety, lets you try a couple different things. Um, it shows you, here's your snacks you're gonna be eating. Um, it tells you what is in each. It even gives you, I think it has this now too. Or no, that's not. Um, no. And then it gives you the meal prep with it too. Like if you wanna prep all on the weekend, here's the play by play, follow it and you're gonna get it done. And at the bottom too, it gives you a grocery list. Oh my God, you don't have to overthink it. Now, this obviously is a meal plan for one person. So what do you do if you have a meal? Or you have a family, or you have to cook for more than one person? So my tip for you and what I have been doing forever, especially with this calendar, 
Um, I will share this calendar in the group in the files tab. So if you want to use it, you can. It's a simple Excel file, um, but it's a document you can use. And this hangs on my refrigerator or stays in my kitchen all week long so I know what I'm eating and when I'm eating it. Um, but when I come to plan, um, I always plan out my dinners first. That is the one meal that we all eat together. I don't want to mess with it. Yes, it still falls in line with my container count for the day, but I will make a little extra something, especially for my husband. Like if I know that he's going to want more potatoes than I will, I'll make the right amount of potatoes, potatoes, but I'll take my yellow container and I'll measure out my portion and that's it. So he'll, he's still getting satisfied with what he wants to eat and I'm getting satisfied with the amount that I need to eat. And whatever's left over, he takes to lunch to work the next day. So I still cook the same amount of food. I just portion out my portions as I need them. Um, but I always plan out dinner first. I always put that in my calendar first. Then I always add in where my Shakeology is so I know what meal or snack I'm, I'm drinking that at. And then the rest I just fill in. My snacks are my snacks. My breakfast and lunch are whatever I choose to be that day. And that's it. So I... I know everyone's different. Some people, you know, they cook their lunches and stuff for them and their spouse too. We don't like my husband will always eat the leftovers the next day for lunch at work. So it works out that way. And I always, when I buy and I cook, I plan to cook and buy enough so that there is bulk. So he does have that. So that's how we're kind of saving there. I'm not buying extra food. Um, and my girls are typically eating what I eat anyways too. So that's how it works out for us. And I usually shop the sales. I pull out the circulars that always come every Thursday from the two stores that I shop at. And whatever proteins are on sale that week, that's what I base my meals off of. I go on the blog, I go on Pinterest, I pick meals that pertain to that protein. And that's what I cook. And it gives me variety. Um, I get to try new things every week. And the one thing I did want to show you guys, and I'll go back to here shortly, um, I will admit, but it's fixate. And that's another great tool that I want to talk to you about here. So that is a great resource when it comes to meal planning. Um, the fixate hub, if you go into under results, um, this is a great starting point to it, right? No matter what program you're doing, if you're using the containers, this is a great starting point for yourself. Um, it breaks down to exactly help you explain what 21 day fix is. There's more recipe ideas here, sample meal plans, grocery list, tally sheets, meal planner, everything right here once one resource here's that tracker app i was talking about here you can download it right here too it is only ios um, there are android versions available i have seen them they may cost i'm not sure um, but this is the app that you can download and there's more tips so great ideas here as well no matter what what workout you're doing if you're using the containers start here this is under results the results tab at the top so we've gone under fitness for guide we've got under um, what do we do? Nutrition for meal plans. And there's also Shakeology recipes in here as well. If you want more Shakeology recipes, Pinterest is amazing. You guys, if you don't find it on the blog, go to Pinterest. Um, 21 day fix hub is under results. And then the shop button is a great resource. If you are along your journey, you want to add in a performance supplement, you need to order more Shakeology, you want to get an accessory like a resistance band, you can just shop right here, you guys. And as long as you're signed in, if you have a discount, it's going to recognize the discount. Um, but that's easy access right there. So the one thing, the last thing I wanted to show you was Fixate. I forgot to mention this while I was in um, Beachbody On Demand. Stop the share here and go back to Safari. Since I'm signing there. Whoa. What happened here? Okay. Fixate. Fixate is the bomb.com. This is amazing. So, this is your own personal cooking show. This is like what you don't get from a gym. Um, they are literally adding at least two recipes every single week to this. And every single recipe has a container count. It has the nutritional information. It even has a play-by-play -play video. So I literally on the weekends, if I wanted to make the strawberry rhubarb pie little bite that you see at the top here this weekend, I will put my computer in my kitchen or my tablet and I will play it slowly. I will play a little bit, cook along with it, pause it, cook, 
then play it, cook it. So I am literally in the kitchen with Autumn and her brother, um, who is a professional chef. Um, and they are creating delicious meals. I have not made one bad meal from this yet. And all the meals that I do make from this, everyone loves in the house. So it's pretty cool. Um, but the point that I want you to be aware of are the foundational videos. These are amazing. Containers 101, Pantry Raid are amazing. Containers 101 help you understand how the containers work, how you use them for measurements, and it really puts into perspective what you probably are eating and what you should be eating. It's eye-opening. But Autumn does a good job with that. Pantry Raid helps you understand what um, foods you should start to be filling your pantry with, stuff to always have on hand. No, you don't have to totally wipe out your pantry. Yes, you should probably ditch the stuff that you know you're going to be tempted by. Or if you have a family and you don't want to make them mad, put it in a, in a special location just for them. A place that you're not going to be able to see it very often, be tempted by it, but they know where to go if they truly want it. Um, but she talks about the grains and the sugars and the flours and the seeds and um, all of that stuff that are better options for you. Um, that you can start stocking your pantry with. I will say that her pantry that she has in the video, that is my pantry now. That's all those foods that she talks about in there, I have in mind. But it, I didn't start there. It took time. It took taking white pasta and going to brown rice pasta or whole wheat pasta. It took going from um, table sugar to coconut sugar. So I didn't do it overnight. We tried it. We saw it. We found if we liked it or not. And if we did, we made the switch, but if not, we truly wanted our white pasta. That was the one thing we weren't going to compromise off of. Then, okay, we didn't, but she gives you great options. And then if you're looking for other ways to meal prep along the way, she shows you two ways to meal prep. She has the five day method where you're cooking everything at once and you're already separating it out. Um, so you basically just have to grab and go to the container and leave the house or you do it in bulk. And that's the way I do it too. I typically cook in bulk, keep them all in their own containers. And then as I eat it throughout the week, I'll separate it into what I need on my plate and my bowl. So great, great recipes to help educate you and understand. But everything is broken down. Um, there's always a detail on what it is. You play it. Um, and the program materials, there is a quick, uh, quick control uh, portion guide. Another great thing, more steps. Uh, along the way. And if you don't want to print it off of your, um, your program, here's the booklet here that this is new. This is pretty cool. Um, grocery lists, recipes. The real cool thing with the recipe is that when you're in the recipe book, um, they always have the latest and greatest at the top here, but say you want to go to Calibri's chicken. You don't have to scroll the whole PDF. Just click on it going to take you right there. So every program is going to tell you the container equivalent at the top, prep time, cooking time, what you need, ingredients, gives you some tips at the bottom. And especially 80 Day Obsession is the latest program in that there's been a lot of nutritional things with that. If you see the logo at the top, it's a great option for that program. They have gluten-free recipes. They have vegan recipes. They're always in the circle of vegan. Um, so keep those things in mind, you guys. But you can print these out. As I do these, I usually print them out and keep them in a binder so I don't have to keep reprinting them out. Um, but you can scroll through it or you can just click on the exact recipe you want if you found one in the videos list you like. But that's it. I hope I didn't overwhelm you. I know it was a lot. And hopefully this is something you can just keep in your back pocket. And as you need to refer to something, you can refer back to this. But any questions? Comment in the group, ask them, because I guarantee you, if you have the question, someone else does. If you're embarrassed, you're not quite sure yet, please contact me, then that is okay. Um, but that is all the ins and outs of Beach Bun and Demand and the blog, and I will be sharing this with you as well to help you meal prep. But between, you have from today, Wednesday, until Sunday this week to do something. Do something. You don't have to feel like you have it, have to have it all figured out. You don't have to have it perfect. You just got to start. Start with one thing. Start with one thing every single week. I don't know. I'm getting tongue tied again. Start with one thing every single week. Master it. Once you master it, then you move on. You add something new. You tweak something new the next week. So say you only want to have all your breakfast planned out. You don't want to get overwhelmed with doing a complete five days. Um, you don't want to do every single meal. Then just plan breakfast. You can plan your breakfast. 
Shakeology is a no-brainer. There are two meals right in your day or a meal and a snack that are done, taken care of. And once you master one breakfast, you're going to figure out, okay, maybe I can prep a snack then every single week. So I can have a breakfast, a snack, and my Shakeology prep. Bam, I'm already better doing the next week. So think of it, baby steps, you guys. It isn't supposed to be all figured out and perfect from the start. It's a process. And to get to that lifestyle that you want to live for the long run and to make it super simple and a lifestyle you love no matter what, start slow. Slow always wins, you guys. All right. That is it for me. Thank you for hopping on live. If you're catching the recording, let me know if you have any questions, but stay tuned for the rest of the week for more prep tips to get you started and get ready for Monday. Have a good night, you guys.